Good Lord was looking over your girl. God say, this is my breakthrough season. <laughs> this is my breakthrough. <laughs> hey, hey, it is my breakthrough season, baby. <laughs> you better ask somebody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Avis, better known here as Ms. Redbone 2010. Okay, so you guys have been requesting, requesting, requesting this. How to get approved for weight loss surgery. And especially if you have like no insurance, no, no, excuse me. No, if you have insurance and it was Medicaid. Now, other uh, insurances I can't tell you about. Only one that I can tell you about is how to get approved for Medicaid. Uh, Jesus, tell me how to get approved for Medicaid. See how my all discombobulated? How <laughs> to get approved for weight loss surgery through Medicaid. Okay. So anyway, if you want to see this video, just keep on watching. You okay. Guys. Welcome back. First thing first, okay, what I did, um, I you, I was talking to my friend one day and she had told me she, uh, Medicaid pays for weight loss surgery. I didn't believe it. So what I did, I called my insurance and, um, they told me, yeah, they do. I said, okay. Fast forward a year later, I decided to take it serious and say, okay, I want to go ahead and get it. So I went to my doctor's office. Um, I was Talk, telling her like, hey, I'm thinking about um, having weight loss surgery, you know, because I am considered obese and I am extremely overweight. Of course, I didn't have any health issues, but later on down the line, I did. Uh, they start to see I was developing high blood pressure. Didn't know that. Um, and I only started to get high blood pressure when I was pregnant, but I was getting high blood pressure now. So. Uh, what they would do is what she would do is she would see if you need it. Well, he or she, your doctor would see if you need it or not. As for and what they look for, they want to know if you're obese. Your BMI have to be like over forty, I guess, over forty. Um, if you have any like high blood pressure, diabetic, um, weight causing causing you not to walk or anything dealing with anything like that, you're definitely going to get approved, no doubt. Um, next thing. So after we did that, um, I, which I went before her, what I did, I started looking for surgeons that take Medicaid. Okay. Um, I Googled it and then I started calling doctor office. Do you take, uh, uh, Medicaid insurance? Um, I can't tell you the actual insurance I'm with, but it's under Medicaid, you know, the actual name, but, um, uh, I'm in Florida. Well, you know what? I can tell you because I don't even have Medicaid anymore. I have my own health insurance I pay for. Anyway, I was I had stay well. Okay, stay well insure, insurance. And I was um what am I talking about? Uh, stay well insurance and I'm in Florida. Okay. So I called them and it was good. So I went called each surgeon that was in the area, but I want to make sure they had good reviews. The ones I figured that I wanted, I called them as you take um stay well, Medicaid or Medicaid, whatever to pay for the weight loss surgery. It was like, yeah, okay. I booked my appointment. I saw my surgeon. Um, then you'll need to go to a weight loss seminar. You didn't have to because I didn't go to, but they were, but they were tell you need to. I didn't do it. So after that, she sent the referral to um, the surgeon that I wanted. And then after that, um, I started the process of getting everything I needed for the surgery. So you will need to take six months worth of nutrition classes, which is once a month for like maybe an hour. Mine was like an hour. Um, and it, it just basically tells you about how to, how to, um, start eating again, healthy eating, uh, how to pick pretzels over chips or, you know, things like that. But it's basically tra retraining you how to eat after the surgery. Cause baby, you better pay attention because this surgery going to knock you dead in your face afterwards. If you did not listen to your class, but thank God they give you a manual. Okay. So you'll have to do six months worth of classes once a month. You need to see a psychiatrist. At least think two or three times. Um, you can continue to go if you want to. I could, I continue to, I, uh, I was continuing to go. I have stopped now because of, um, I didn't do stay well anymore, even though she takes my insurance now that I pay for. I'm not worried about it anymore because I'm like, whatever, I don't need it. Um, and, I, and it's not always about weight afterwards. Afterwards, you just talk about your personal issues. If you have a childhood issue you were going through, like I was, then you could talk to her about that. Um, also you need to take, you need to see the heart, lung doctor. You need to get an x-ray on your stomach. I did that in the hospital. They make you drink some stuff, almost like apple seltzer, but 
it's dry when it goes in your mouth. So imagine dry appetizer in your mouth. You got to try to swallow it down, but it's in a powder form. And they give you a teeny, weeny bit of water just to make it start fizzing. And then they x-ray you. They lean you back on this machine, lean you forward, and all this type of stuff. Then you got to drink some chalky stuff. And then they'll tell you when to swallow. So they x-ray all that. That takes about a good two hours. Well, we me sitting there and all that. So probably the whole thing itself probably took like a good 40 minutes. Um, what else? You will see the lung doctor, the heart doctor, the heart doctor. All this was done in, um, no, the heart doctor was done in the heart and stomach was done. I had two stomach things actually, um, done in the hospital. They do like an ultrasound and they'll look inside of your stomach and your heart, take pictures, send it back to your doctor. The lawn doctor asked you a series of questions. Um, I didn't hear how to do anything with me because I don't smoke. I don't get out of breath easily. None of that. So I was clear right after I left him. He was like, you good to go. I said, okay. And after that, um, that's it. That is basically it. And after you finish your classes, your nutrition classes, um, they will send all the information over to your surgeon and also to, yeah, all information over to your surgeon. They, I heard they supposedly send them to the insurance, but my surgeon, they know how to get you approved. So <laughs> they want the guns. So Sorry, they send it over to off. my surgeon. Um, so after that, they send it over to my doctor assistant who assists me during my whole entire thing. Well, I only talked to her probably one time. That was it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Until I was done with my program. After that, she called me. She was like, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and send all your paperwork in. Everything that you needed, you already got in. And we, I'm going ahead and send it over. And um, I'll call you back and let you know when it's been approved. Mind you, it takes at least two to three weeks. Oh, sorry. It takes up to two weeks to um, for the, the insurance to look over everything to see if you really need it. Because remember, it's your last option. Because if you screw it up, no insurance will pay for it again. You will have to come out of pocket. So once you get the surgery, you better make sure you do it right. And do it right because if you got eating all that stuff and get fat again, you think you want to get reconstructed surgery to do re shriek your stomach again, you go have to come out of pocket for that. So you better take your first chance seriously. Okay? Because no insurance will pay for you again. No matter what insurance, won't pay for you again because it's on your history. You gotta take it serious the first time, we will not spend that money the second time on your ass. Boom. So I'm like, okay, I'm happy, I'm happy. She finna send my paperwork in, blah, blah, blah. And then she calls me back the next day. I'm like, what does she want? Left a message. I called her back. I was like, yeah, you called for me? She was like, yeah, hey, hey, I'm like, hey. And she was like, well, your surgery day is blah, 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 and you've been approved. I'm like, girl, you just called me yesterday so you sent my paperwork in. She was like, I know. I was like, because she was getting lit then. She said, I know. She said, that don't normally ever happen. Like, that don't never happen. Like, the, same, the next day, she, I was like, for real? I said, she, I was so pumped, but I was so scared. And she was like, yeah, that never happens that fast. Like, that. it takes literally, like, weeks. And I'm like, it's been, like, a couple of hours since I talked to you, like, yesterday. And I was approved like that. So, the good Lord was looking over your girl. God said, this is my breakthrough season. <laughs> this is my breakthrough <laughs> Hey, hey, it is my breakthrough season, baby. <laughs> you better ask somebody. <laughs> so, yes. And then after all that, um, two weeks before your surgery, they will, you have to go see a nutritionist again, and they will tell you, um, put you on this liquid diet. And you got to be on for two weeks. Some insurance don't require two weeks. Like, I have a friend that's in New York. She on the road was like a week or two. One was like a, a couple of days. Like, everybody, every surgeon is different. Every, every surgeon wants different things. Hey, so my surgeon, he is the best. I love Dr. Ray. I, even when I stalk him, I kept blowing up his office from when I was in pain during that time. His he had his assistant tell me come in, do this, go to the ER, they'll find out what's wrong, whatever. And he just so sweet and just very, very nice and beautiful blue, bright blue ocean eyes. So yeah. Dr. Wright is good. So if you are in the Tallahassee area, I definitely, definitely yeah, per get Dr. Wright. Because he is yes. 
So yes, I hope hopefully this video was very helpful for you guys. Let you know step by step what you need to do. I'll probably have um, you know what? If you follow me on Instagram, I have all this already on my Instagram. So just in case you forgot you or you're trying to write it down, if you follow me on my Instagram, I have a list of eight things in order how how what you need to do and how to get approved for the surgery. And hey, if you gotta stretch the truth a little bit. Did it get approved? Hey, do that. You know, do that. I mean, I think I did my psychiatrist. But I know great eating habits. I know all that stuff. So I don't need to really psych her out with that because I know what to do. It's just a matter of applying it and sticking to it. And I have been applying it. And I have been sticking to it. So follow me on Instagram at um, AVC underscore BSG. So you can follow my, all my updates, all the tips I tell you about insurances and about weight loss. I mean. You guys, it's so informative. It's ridiculous. I like literally people question me like right now. Blow my phone up. Literally. About because I went like I did like this insurance thing and Medicaid thing and all this. So all the girls I told it in, let them know from all over where, the, where their location is, how to get approved in their area. So good luck and congratulations to all the ladies who already been approved and went on their dates. And I'll see you on the loser's bench. Bye, you guys.